Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh and salam sejahtera. So this is the second video for lecture two. In this video, we will continue with subtopic 2.2, quantum mechanics. At the end of the subtopics, students should be able to define the term orbital and explain all four quantum numbers of an electron in an orbital. So the four quantum numbers are principal quantum number N, angular momentum quantum number L, magnetic quantum number N, and electron spin quantum number S. So in this subtopic, we will focusing on the definition of orbital and also the four quantum numbers. And you will learn more about the shape of orbitals in your tutorial class. So let's start with the atomic orbital. So in quantum mechanics, electrons are being located in a space called orbitals. An orbital is a three-dimensional region in space around the nucleus where there is a high probability of finding an electron. So as you can see here, this is the illustration that shows the, the shape of the S orbital that has a spherical shape. We also have a P orbital that has a dumbbell shape and also a D orbital that has a cloverleaf shape. So what is the difference between an orbit and an orbital? So this is a very important thing that you should know. So the orbit, orbit is the fixed circular path where the electron revolves around the nucleus. However, orbital is a 3D region in space around the nucleus where the probability of finding an electron is the highest. Okay, let's start with the quantum numbers. The quantum mechanical model of the atom is a mathematical model which predicts the probability of electron location and path in electron clouds. The atomic orbital and the behavior of its electron is described by four quantum numbers. So in a simpler words, the quantum numbers enable us to give an address to locate the position of the electron in electron clouds. So the four quantum numbers are principal quantum number with the symbol of M, angular momentum quantum number with the symbol of L, magnetic quantum number with the symbol of M, and electron spin quantum number with the symbol of S. So let's go through each of these quantum numbers. So the first one is principal quantum number N. So, the value of n determines the energy of an orbital and thereby the energy of the electron in that particular orbital. So, the principal quantum number have only integer values. So, for example, n will be start with number 1, 2, 3 and so on up until infinity. So, in simple words, n represent the shell. So, for example, we have n1 representing shell k, and 2 representing shell L, and 3 representing by shell, K, shell M, and N4 representing by shell N. So, as the number of shell or the number of principal quantum number increase, the size of orbital also increases. So, therefore, the energy of electron also increases from N1 until N4. So, meaning that the electron is further from the nucleus. So here is the comparison of size of orbital according to the value of n. So as you can see here, the size of the 1s orbital is smaller compared to the 2s orbital. And 3s orbital has larger orbital size compared to orbital 2s. So the higher the number of n, the larger the size of the orbital. Okay. Angular momentum quantum number L. So, for angular momentum quantum number, we have three other alternative names, which are azimuthal or subsidiary or orbital quantum number. So, the value of L indicates the shape of atomic orbital. The allowed values of L are starting from 0, 1, 2, up until N equals to 1. 
letters are assigned to different numerical values of m. So, for example, here, if l is equal to 0, the subshell notation will be s. The, if l equals to 1, the subshell notation is p. l equals to 2, the subshell notation is d. And l equals to 3, the sub no, subshell notation is f. The higher the value of L, then the energy of subshell increases according to this arrangement. So, the S orbital has lower energy compared to P orbital. D orbital has higher energy compared to P orbital. And F orbital has higher energy compared to P orbital. So, the higher the value of L, the higher the energy of the subshell. So, the, the, the general shape of an orbital is determined by the L value. So, for the L equals to 0, so it is an S orbital. So, S orbital has a spherical shape. If L equals to 1, it is a P orbital with a dumbbell shape. If L equals to 2, it is a D orbital with a clover leaf shape. Okay, now let's focus on the relationship between N and L. So the angular momentum quantum number L divides the shells, which is the N, into smaller levels called the subshell. So this is the shell N, which is the principal quantum number. So for example, for the shell or principal quantum number N equals to 1, so we have subshell only 0. Okay, so the name of the subshell is 1S. For shell N2, we have two subshell, which is 0 and 1. So, L0 is 2S. 2 means the N is 2. And subshell L equals to 1, representing subshell 2P. Note that the number of subshell in any given shell is simply equal to the values of N for that shell. Let's take a look into more relationship between N and L. So, for example, for shell K, just now, in the previous slide, so the N number is 1. So, we have only one subshell, which is 1S. For subshell K, which is N equals to 2, we have two subshell, which is 0 and 1. So, the subshell letters is 2S and 2P. S for L equals to 0. P for L equals to 1. So, this subshell belongs to shell number 2. For shell N, which is N3, we have 3 subshell, which is starting from 0, 1, and 2. So, one L0 representing 3S subshell, L1 for 3P, L2 for 3D. For shell N, which is N equals to 4, we have 4 subshell, which is L0, 1, 2, and 3. For, so, for the subshell, we have 4S for L0, 4P for L1, 4D for L2, and 4F for L3. So let's continue with the third quantum number, which is the magnetic quantum number M. So the value of M determines the orientation of orbital surrounding the nucleus. 
the possible value of n will depend on the value of the L, which is the subshell. So the values of n will start with negative L until 0 up until positive L. So the number of m values indicates the number of orbital in the subshell with a particular L value. For example, if L equals to 0, then m will only have one value, which is 0. So there is only one orbital in S subshell. So if L equals to 1, which is the P orbital, then m will have only three orientation, which is negative 1. 0 up until positive L, which is positive 1. So means we have 3 orbitals in P subshell. So 3 orbitals are represented by 2, sorry, Px, Py, and Pz. So if L equals to 2, then we have 5 orientation of L2, which is negative 2, negative 1, 0, positive 1, and positive 2. That means we have 5 orbitals in D subshell, which is dx square minus 1 square, dxz square, dxy, dxz, and 3yz. So, relationship between L, L, and M. So, the atomic orbital with the same energy, that is the same value of N and L, are referred to as degenerate orbitals. Therefore, there are 2L plus 1 degenerate orbitals for each value of L. For example, here, for shell number 1, the subshell value is only 0. So, the subshell notation is 1S. So, the value of M is only 1, which is 0. So, number orbital is 1. If shell is equals to 2, so we have two subshell of 0 and 1. So it's L0 representing 2S, and we have only one M value, which is 0. So we have only one orbital for 2S orbitals. If L equals to 1, so the subshell notation is 2P. For 2P subshell, we have three orientation, negative 1, 0, and positive 1. That means we have three number of orbitals for 2P subshell. And the last quantum numbers is electron spin quantum number with the symbol of S. So the value of S determines the direction of spinning motion of an electron. Either the electron moves in clockwise or anti-clockwise, which is spinning on its own axis as Earth does. So the electron spin quantum number has a value of positive half or negative half. So this is the illustration of how the electron moves on its axis. So Electron is moved on its axis either in a clockwise motion or anti-clockwise motion. So clockwise motion has a symbol of positive half and the anti-clockwise motion has a symbol of negative half. 